Hey, so I'm back and I just wanted to do a very quick video. I'm no makeup right now because I came back from the beach. I had a really fun beach day with my friend and we hung out for like several hours. I went to Salisbury Beach, which is right on the border of Massachusetts slash New Hampshire. Um, and it was a really fun time, but today happened to be like a total milestone moment for me because I'm wearing for the first time my first snoot friendly bathing suit, which is what I've got on here. So I figured I would just kind of share that. It's definitely been a progression for me growing into snoot. Um, I've done a couple other videos on the topic, um, which you can check out also on my channel. But basically um, when it came to this year and just summer and bathing suit, I figured like, I just felt like it was finally ready. Like I just felt ready to sort of bump up my observance and um, get to the point of being a little more full coverage when it comes to the beach. And last year, I was just like wearing a one piece, um, which was like relatively modest, like compared to like a bikini, I guess, um, which is what I used to wear. Um, I remember like a couple years ago, right before I became observant, that's when I went to Israel for the first time. So there, like I was on like the beaches of Tel Aviv in a full blown bikini. So I've definitely come quite a long way um, in a relatively short amount of time, but it has been a, a progression and something I've had to grow into. Um, so last year, I didn't really go to the beach that much. I went like a few times with my family and um, the waters are very cold here. So I didn't really go swimming too much, but I knew I was wearing like a relatively modest one piece. Um, it did have kind of like a cut out in the midriff and the back was pretty low. But um, again, relatively speaking, I didn't feel like there was anything particular, like particularly immodest about that bathing suit. But at the end of the day, like I've, for sure grown more sensitive to just the idea of modesty and being full coverage as I've grown more into my snoot observance. So, um, you know, when I look at that bathing suit now, I just think that when it comes to like your typical, like not made for modesty bathing suit nowadays that you keep, you know, like one pieces and stuff, I just feel like there's not that much of a leap between wearing that in terms of the cut and basically walking around in your underwear. So um, that's just how I feel. It is a very personal observance. So not to say that there's anything inherently wrong about wearing a one piece or a bikini, like everyone should just, you know, obviously wear what feels right to them. But for me at this point, I just really felt like there was definitely more coverage to be had. So I figured I would just shop for a new bathing suit this year. And um, it was actually pretty tough because I was having a really hard time with the style, um, to be honest. and. I guess I should start by just saying I've never like even, you know, I didn't grow up religious and I don't have Jewish family. So just that whole look of a snoot bathing suit is just something I'm not familiar with and not necessarily comfortable with. So, um, you know, I've seen pictures, of course, while I was shopping and looking online of different snoot swimwear, but I think there's just something about the look of having a snoot swimwear that I just feel like is very foreign. So it was a, it just basically had a hard time finding like a swimsuit that felt like it was my style and something I would be comfortable in. And I think that, you know, there's a few different options that the cuts you can get, but I think I felt most uncomfortable with the look of having like a skirt with swimwear. And again, it's just that I've never been around people who wear snoot bathing suits and stuff. So it just felt really unfamiliar. Um, so I figured the skirt style just didn't quite feel right for me and I, and I just thought like I'd probably just shop around um, for like a long like rash guard like long sleeve kind of thing which is what I'm wearing now and pair it with some shorts. So I was really happy to find this option here which I really love. It's actually kind of have the sleeves rolled up right now but it's like full long sleeve. Um, this actually happens to zip all the way up. I feel like it's a little bit too like constricted looking so I sort of zip it down and tuck her in like that but um, I got this on Amazon for like about $30 which is great and it came in a bunch of different colors. Um, I'll actually link the description in case you guys are looking around. I totally recommend this one but I totally love this top and honestly even if I wasn't trying to like dress modestly I would probably just wear this anyway because I really like it um, but when it came to the shorts I had a really hard time and what I did was I ended up buying like two different options for shorts. Um, and when I got them, like they were just a little bit too short and I just, it just didn't kind of feel quite right. So I figured like probably the, the right thing to do or just what felt more right to me in honor of dressing a little more modestly this year was to get shorts that were a little more full coverage. So the shorts I got were basically like midway between my knee and the top of my leg. So. I don't personally consider those to be like too short, like 
if you're not necessarily dressing modestly. Um, but at the end of the day, like compared to the skirts and stuff that I'm wearing, like for me, mid-length skirts stop like right below the knee is like more or less. I do have some dresses that are like just right above the knee, but I kind of feel like less comfortable in those to be honest. So I'm definitely growing more sensitive to the idea of being covered and modest um, at this point. So having shorts that were even, you know, reasonably short, but not, you know, not too short, it just didn't kind of feel right. So I figured like the right thing to do would be to go for something that stopped a little bit more like right above the knee or so. And so I ended up getting some shorts that were a little bit baggier, a little looser and definitely longer. And I have to say when I got them, like the length felt definitely more modest, but I didn't really fully love it. Like, and I have to say, like, I just don't like the whole look of the top and the bottom together. It's something I feel like I still have to kind of grow into and get used to, but I do feel like it was the right decision for me. So it is a bit of a compromise to be honest, but I feel um, I feel great to be kind of like at that milestone and at that point where I'm making decisions that are not necessarily just, you know, what I feel like basically like making an appropriate compromise as I see it. So that's where I'm at. Um, I do, again, like I said, I do, oops, I do really um, love this top. So um, I definitely recommend checking it out if you guys are looking for different different swimwear. Um, but yeah, the whole look, I will have to get a little bit used to it, but I did, you know, feel very comfortable um, at the beach today and had a bunch of fun. So that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So I just wanted to share that little bit of an update and um, I will also actually link, um, so it, you know, the swim, the different types of uh, Sneut swimmer that I saw online, there are a few different companies that I ran into that are um, started by from women and, you know, created for Sneut specific um, shoppers and stuff. So I, you know, I I thought that was great so I definitely want to support them I'll drop a link like any of the links that I found um, to maybe spare you some time maybe the styles will, will work out for you um, again it just didn't kind of feel like it matched my style but you know hopefully you'll be able to find something you like if you are looking around for some snoot swimmer for the summer and that's about it I just want to give you that little bit of an update as I just log my journey into my snoot observance um, I do feel like at this point I kind of hit as far as I feel like I need to grow into Sneo, to be honest. Um, I'm like very occasionally wearing baggy, like loose shorts if I'm only like, if I'm exercising or something, um, but everything is quite full coverage at this point. I do still wear pants. I personally don't find anything to be immodest about wearing pants. I consider them to be a unisex style at this point. So I know some women don't wear pants at all, but personally for me, I think that as long as they're kind of loose and flowy and not like, you know, tightly showing all your shapes and sizes and all that, I think it's totally fine in terms of modesty. Um, and I do still wear short sleeves and personally um, con continue to plan to continue to do so. Um, I know in like my last video, I wore pretty short short sleeves and I personally don't find anything to be immodest about them. So I think for me that I've grown pretty much into the level of snoot that I kind of aspire to get to. Um, as far as I know, of course, it's always evolving, so it can always change and grow more stringent perhaps over time, but um, I feel very comfortable about where I'm at and I feel like this is kind of like the final manifestation of modest clothing for me um, in terms of having a sneak bathing suit. So I'm really excited about that and just wanted to share, like I said, that update. Um, so anyway, thanks for sticking with me as always and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shalom Alechem. Every day I put the work in, the grind never stop, you ain't never see me rest. See me on top, I never fall. I speak my truth and turn it to law. Do it for the drive, you know it's really my passion.